Alright guys, welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video here with Calchris. I know it's been a few weeks since we've uh, actually made a video. There's a reason for that. I'll explain it in another video, mainly just getting ready for Nats. Obviously, I'm here, not at Nats. Uh, this is actually being recorded on Sunday. Um, and I'll explain why in a different video. But there was a, um, a webcam side event version of the regional uh, side event that would have been today on Sunday. And what's very cool is that it was a Unison of Warrior block tournament, which means you can only play cards with the UW tag at the bottom, which is from set 10. Every card released from set 10 till now, that, that wasn't a reprint from like Battle Evolution or reprint of other cards after that, right? So here we have Navarro, uh, one of the uh, many yellow players from our, our, uh, our uh, locals, who pilots uh, a deck that he plays a lot of, uh, which is Helku. It's actually a deck that actually has a pretty big home in our <laughs> at our locals there's a lot of us who play this deck i played it at one point navarro plays it we have like two or three other people who play it but navarro was able to get uh top 32 he actually unfortunately bubbled out he was right on 17th i know that's a kind of a so kind of a touchy subject but he did really well he did really well um how, how you doing navarro uh i'm doing good man oh my Guys, 17, bro. <laughs> yeah, so close, so close. But um, yeah, uh, we're we're gonna do a little deck profile uh, with Helku, and just to get kind of some insight on what he was playing. Obviously, it's, this isn't a normal format deck because some cards you may run um, that aren't in this the units in block. You may you may have been able to run. So it added a weird building version of it. Did you find that you had an issue with that, or were most of the cards that you played? Uh, legal anyways. Uh, so some of the extra cards came up a little bit too much for my liking, but the deck draws so much that it fixes itself so quickly. Right. Okay. Well, um, for right before we dive into leader, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the content. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, gonna gonna be making some uh, going back to making videos now now that Nats is over. And uh, go ahead, Navarro, take it away. Uh, take us over your leader. Okay, right, so I was playing Helku, SS4 Goku Return from Hell. So basically on the back side, I mean the front side, you attack and draw. If you have two or more energy, if you reveal a card from your, top, from your deck, place it in the drop area and play it. If you flip the card over, flip your leader over, take life to you at five. On the back side, you basically draw two cards, put one on top, have a spirit boost effect, reveal the card on the top, place it in the drop, you know. Mm. You're basically just milling yourself, playing out cards for free. Right, Some cards right. you actually pay for, but you know, they're pretty good. So then the uh, the other uh, two effects on there, uh, uh, one will probably go over on the other side, but on this side, you have an activate main where you can search out your unison once per game. Did yeah. that ever come up being being very helpful? Um, it came up once. Uh, it came up once against Sin, Yellow okay. Sin. He killed my unison off pretty quickly. And I, by that time, I was already awakened, but I didn't have enough unison in hand. So, other than that, I usually had to use it in hand. But it's a good effect, though. It comes in the play. It, come, it comes when it's needed. Right. It comes in hand. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so, the main, so the four extra cards that will get you started are Trip to Hell. Mm -hmm. So, this card... This, what this card basically does is you tap one energy, uh, one yellow energy, draw two cards, and then reveal one card. Put, I mean, place a card on top and then reveal it in the um, drop area. Okay. So, cards that you can use to that effect are, are Pan mm -hmm. uh, and Trunks, SS Goku. I was like, wait, and, you're, you're not playing four? I was shocked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, my hands are a little, you know. Yeah. Pretty. Okay, so Trunks is probably the best target for Trip to Hell. Mm -hmm. Because Trunk, when you play out Trunks, he's a free play. You get to draw a card and you get to place a card on top. So it um, basically Trunks can extend your plays for your turns. Mm -hmm. um, so basically if you have this guy in hand, you Trip to Hell, play out Trunks, draw a card, you can put this guy on top. And then you can spear boost via your leader or trunks. I forgot to mention your trunks also has to activate me for spear boost effect once mm -hmm. per turn. And uh, basically, you either play out this guy, this guy, or Pan. But the thing with Pan is you have to, your opponent has to have two more energy. 
Right, right, right. And uh, Pan also gives your leader crit, right? Crit for the turn, yes. And uh, so it's something interesting that we kind of found out by playtesting this deck is that uh, since you are the, uh, the master of the autos, uh, whenever your leader goes into pending, if you play Pan, uh, the auto goes into pending, does not activate instantly. So you can actually awaken with your leader to the front side, do all your effects, and then finalize Pan's effect to then give your leader crit. Because obviously on the other side, if you do Pan first, you get crit, then your leader flips over and you lose it. But we found that it's very it's very easy. You can um, kind of manipulate your autos, and especially if you're playing against a deck that that you're going second or first, and you're able, or yeah, second, and you're able to get a pan down and start critting. It's pretty uh, it's pretty disgusting, right? <laughs> we go for her real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those are the hell guys. Um, unison. We play four of the Android 18 Defender of Heroes. Okay. Uh, so basically what she is, what she does, she's uh, plus two. You can look at the top three cards where you range them in any order and put them back on top of your deck. So this will help you with your um, with your sequ uh, sequencing with this deck. So basically you uh, plus two with Android 18 and you find any of these guys, you can place them on top in any order and you can spirit boost effect from trunks if you have trunks to play or spirit boost from your leader mm -hmm. and, you know can um, you know do do the thing right right, right. <laughs> play them out good job uh her minus two which really comes up for me i don't think it's good but it's it comes in when it needs is needed her active her minus two is you draw three cards mm -hmm. and then you place two back in any uh, on top of any order i never really use it that much because um the deck just draws so much. <laughs> like yeah. you really don't need. You have no problems with drawing. This is this is the epitome of stacking your deck. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, because you always you always have the the next few cards. I'm sure you're going to show off, and it's just like oh my gosh, it's like every single time. Um, how much did yeah. the uh, how much did her auto come into into effect? So her auto. Uh, once per turn, if I activate a Spear Boost effect, I get to tap a battle card. Um, it came in a couple of times. Most of the times, it really didn't because a lot, a lot of players were using cards with Barrier, which was very annoying. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it did come into play. And by the way, if you tap a card using her effect, you also play off Poutine. And I'm pretty sure what, uh, everybody knows what Poutine does. Yeah, we don't need to talk about her anymore. Yeah. You guys, you guys, watch this guy, uh, Mr. Yellow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that steam is pretty good. Did you ever find? Uh, obviously, I, I played this deck, so I, I kind of know the idea of what you're what you're supposed to do to beat it. Um, yeah. Did you find that your opponents were targeting your unison a lot, and were you able to defend it, or did they just not care too much? So during my matches, a lot of my opponents really didn't care for the unison mainly because they just kept swinging my leader and they i guess they didn't care that i was like just rearranging my deck just getting my play set up for next turn mm -hmm. i i don't uh, but the sin the sin play i went up against he targeted my unison a lot and that made it really difficult so <laughs> fyi if you go against a healthy player target the unison please because if you don't you'll get swung on a lot yeah, it ends up being like you, you really need to focus on killing the unison. But it is really hard to kill the unison because of some defensive cards that you have in the deck. Yes. Uh, speaking of defensive cards, uh, I guess you're going to love this card. Yeah, it's you a segue. Know, that's, uh, that's that's what yeah, I do, man. You know, the best brigade, in my opinion, for Mecha Freedom's Robotic Repulse. This guy, this guy today literally smacked all of my opponents. I threw him down every game. And my opponent's like, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Because they always had, they never had anything to tap because they're always going aggressive. And I always is like, okay, Mecha Frieza. And they couldn't do anything because they tapped every, they tapped most of all their energy and they didn't have any battle cards to tap. Yeah. So. I hate that card, but I love it, but I hate it. It's, it's such a powerful card. And the fact that you can play it out for one energy, if you have extra cards in the energy or the drop, which it comes up very quickly in this deck. It's like turn two, there's two extra cards there. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know? uh, <laughs> uh, but no, that card's great. It's, it, it's definitely one of the most powerful yellow cards in the game. And I'm sure you have some more in the deck. Yeah, I do. It's, this is so good. Like, 
out of all the extra cards negates that way, I think Mecha Frieza is probably the MVP. <laughs> for sure. Know. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially if, if there's a turn where your opponent's really trying to push and you stack, like, one or two of them, you're just like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Try me. Go ahead, man. Do it. Swing. Come on. <laughs> Come on and find out. Right. Uh, four curl and super combos. Uh, mainly, I uh, mainly ran for it because I can't use Zamasu because he's not in the format. Sad face. Ah, <laughs> uh, big sad face. But, I mean, it's still a good card. Yeah, it's still a good card. Bomb, te bomb deck one, draw two. Love always drawing cards because, you know, we love big hands around here. Didn't have to worry about Fu, so. Nah, uh, yeah. I found that out, like, like, the second or third round. I'm like, wait, I don't have to worry about Fu. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more extra cards. Three power of a Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. This came up a lot. These came up a lot more than they usually do, um, mainly because I couldn't target unisons, and they will always will swing in the unison if I had a Mecha Freeze in play. Usually, some people, some of my opponents will swing with the leader first. Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, at the battle, tap the unison, and I was like, okay, cool. And you have another swing for the turn, so yeah, pretty good card, and you get a free draw from it too. That's the best part. It's just the cycling. All right, this is going to be a little weird one, but we played four Frieza Army Reinforcements. <laughs> okay, so, so explain this. So uh, um, this is mainly because we need a deck space. <laughs> we need to fill up space. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Uh, uh, it came up a lot more than I wanted it to, but when it did come up, when it was it was very valuable, mm -hmm. you, mainly because I take myself down to five life when I awaken, this will come in clutch because you can activate it by taking the life, you have five or less life. But mainly, other than that, it's just useless. Mainly, just charge farther. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's just it's just good it, just to charge because then you get your mecha freeze online. Yeah. Um, another good extra card, release from evil. So I don't. I think people sleep on this card a lot because <laughs> uh, a lot of my opponents did not know what this card did, and they did things that I said no to it. So basically, at least from evil, you negate the skills of the attacking card for the turn, and that card cannot be switched to Admiral to the start of your next turn. So basically, uh, somebody tried to swing with me for double strike, triple strike, or with their unison, and they didn't plus or minus on that. I can just say, at least from evil, negate its skills for the turn, and it cannot be switched to Admiral to the start of your next turn. Yeah, uh, it's really this. irritating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did this to um. I did this to the Finn player that I played against. Shout out to that guy. That that Finn deck is pretty scary. Uh, I did this to the Finn eight drop, and uh, I think that called that basically gave me the game because after that he couldn't swing. He couldn't swing with anything else, <laughs> and he couldn't restand the Finn because uh, of its effect. It has mm. an effect that you can pick the card from underneath your leader to restand, and the least me will just negate it. Dang, that's rough. <laughs> um. So the. Counterplay, we play three prideful transformations. Uh, my distaste for this card went down a little bit. Oh yeah, you've been and, you've been talking crazy about this card. Yeah, this card, I really hate this card. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's, I agree, I agree. But it it came, it was good today. It, it showed off what it can really do. Uh, counterplay. If you have two more markers on you, say it's a free play. You can put a, a card. The card that comes to play is placed in rest mode. Doesn't doesn't, doesn't trigger poutine. Sad face. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a 14k blocker, free blocker. Love it. Gotta love it. I'm probably gonna be playing it a little bit more. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think at three, it's pretty. I mean, with with if you think about like so like after this format, obviously, because you can go back to playing whatever cards. Would you think you'd keep it at three, maybe take it down to two, maybe go back up to four? Uh, I'll keep it at two at most. The four, that was a big mistake. <laughs> Playing the four, sheesh. Oh, man. Yeah, probably at two or max. Because there's just better cards you could just fill up this deck with. Speaking of better card, uh, we play the new Sun Goku Death Pass Assistance. Oh, man. This card actually came up in one of my matches. It was actually pretty good. Um, so basically, he's a counterplay. He has the Mecha Freeze effect. You have two or more extra cards and you drop or energy, I believe. It reduces his cost by one. Yes. Mm. And he comes in, he comes into play rest mode, and the battle card that's being played is also played in rest mode, and then you draw a card. So, uh, even though he, you can't use him to block on the initial turn you play him, he's still good for free draw. That That's 
the main draw, I mean, stick that I got with this card. Yeah. I love drawing. <laughs> that card is, yeah. it's it's so terrifying because it hits everything. Even out of this format, like, if your opponent tries to play Foo, you're just like, alright, tap one, put a rest mode, I'm gonna draw. It's, yeah. it, that, that, that's irritating. And I uh, was speaking of draw, so, actually, when I played this card out, I actually drew into uh, my secret rare, which was Super 17. That's great. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, Super 17 counterplay deflect critical uh when he comes into play the play battle card has the skills to game for the game and i get to and i get to choose one of my opponent's battle cards and rest mode ignoring bigger and absorb it so basically i counterplay with this guy drew super 17 my opponent played another battle card i was like cool super 17 uh negated skills for the turn and i get to absorb a card in rest mode and that happened to so be so his boss monster and i was like cool that's that, that's irritating <laughs> that is so irritating. And the fact that this card has critical makes it even more irritating. Yeah, and it's got the flex, so it's just it's gonna come down. You can't stop it from coming it's down. Come down regardless. Um, another good boss monster. Good old, good old Dragon be, Fist. It a, yeah, it should be a secret rare, honestly, because this card should not be able to be more than two, because this card is busted as fuck. Yeah, this card is this card's nuts. It's um, I think if we get to a point where Yellow is just completely demolishing people. I think this card will end up getting a limit at one point. But right now it's okay, but eventually it will. Alright, uh, so he comes down for three. You have a unison in play. He does a flat double strike. Um, he gets the KO. He gets the pop two cards in rest mode. Um, he has to activate main spirit boost too. He gains dual attack for the turn. And your opponent cannot activate uh, battle card skills seven or less. So meaning, no topo. No super combos. <laughs> no any uh no negates. No baby hatch. <laughs> no baby hatch. Any negates you have on the of any blockage you have in the field, nah. <laughs> Just yeah. nah. Now it does work. We realize it does does it does it work for the tokens? It does. Yeah, uh, okay. It does. So that's that's at least one thing that you can uh that you can play those. Um, and then the one of uh, one secret ID, mm -hmm. mainly for orb wipe. Uh, it came up once in one of my matches against, I do believe it came up against, um, Rainbow Bardock. Mm -hmm. Uh, he had, he had too many with two drops in the, on the field. And I was like, warp him. <laughs> Good Meyer. Uh, and then, uh, that's just for Bardock, buying his fates. Good old Bardock. Uh, double, you know, good old double uh, dual attacker, 25k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. <laughs> we know what it is. <laughs> Gotta love them, man. Gotta love them. So how many cards did you run, like, deck-wise? Uh, I run exactly 50. Okay, okay. So what were your, uh, what were your matchups? Uh, my first matchup was Swap Broly, Red Swap Broly. Mm. I got demolished, I lost. <laughs> uh, my second matchup, Swap Broly. Uh, I won that one. <laughs> What was the difference you think between those two? Uh, so the first match, I really didn't think the, the um, I didn't think you'll go so aggressively, because like it's best of one. But I I I got faked out real quick. He, he yeah. beat me up, and I was sad. <laughs> <laughs> so so when I went up against another Swap Broly player, uh, my second round, I could just completely just win all and turn two. Uh, I used tripped the hell. And then I played out the good old trunks, and I spirit boosted into the four drop. Where, where are you, good old four drop, buddy boy? There he is. And I just completely demolished him, turn two, because I managed to play out two of these guys. I got him down to one life, and he had to crit. And he said he, he gave up because if he critted his life last life, he lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, and you have to. I believe because he was trying to play the one drop promo, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure if you play that card, you have to crit a life. You don't get to choose if you don't get to. So uh, the auto activates, you just crit a life, and you just lose. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> All right, so what else? Um, After Swap Broly, it was Rainbow Bardock. Uh, that match was a little scary because uh, he kept playing out the three drop, crit uh, the two drop critical guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate that card. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that card. <laughs> Me too. Um, uh. But we got, but I managed to survive the turn four. Uh, dropped uh, Dragon Fist Goku. I got the win with that. Once again, bust the card. Because he tried to combo with the three drop uh, Prismatic Burst. 
and uh, we found out that this guy stops that. <laughs> what do you mean? He stops. Uh, he stops uh, the prism adverse combos effect because base. Uh, hold on. I have it. I have it right here. It's in the rule book, but apparently he stops the combo effect of the Prismax burst because technically they're still in the combo step and their effects will not. Oh yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Yeah. It's the same thing as the uh, the four drop Bojack, that bottom yeah. deck something. Yeah, it's same same effect. Yeah. That's funny. This guy, so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good. Um, and then my second, my other match was. I do believe it was uh, Blue Icarus. Blue Icarus. Uh, a guy couldn't do anything because uh, Blue got nerfed to the ground. So I just beat him down with my Double Strikers and Dragon Fist. Was he playing an illegal card? Is that what you said? He was playing an illegal card. He was playing the. What's the. Uh, the Guine. Uh, not Guine. Uh, Guine and Angel Martin. Guine and Martin. The, the Dropbox yes. 5 guy? Yeah. Yeah, he was playing that guy. I didn't know that card was not Unison Warrior. He still lost. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate for him. Uh, um, yeah, then Blue Icarus, Gohan, and then I believe my la uh, match was. Uh, dang. I can't remember. Uh, you will no, well, no, well, you went against uh, Xenosin. Uh, yeah. Right, that was that was game. That was uh, your oh, sixth yeah, round. Oh yeah, it was Black Sin and then Yellow Sin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Black Sin, uh, had me a little worried because I thought I was going to get milled out a lot, but mm -hmm. apparently he played. I guess he played too many extra cards, and he couldn't really defend himself. On his on offensively, because mm -hmm. I just kept swinging, swinging with my double strikers, and I, I comboed up, comboed with uh, Dragon Fist Goku up to, I want to say 70k, and all he had was his extra cards in his hand. Yeah, that um, he yeah. sh I mean, he shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't have lost that matchup. He just probably just didn't know how to play the deck, unfortunately, because that matchup, that Helku matchup, is so easy. Yeah, but he. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's what I was sweating. I mean, I know because I I played the deck today, so yeah. like, but it's just it it it's that's I mean that's that's good that you took advantage of him not maybe not really fully understanding the deck and just had more experience with yours. And then uh, your final round was against Sin, right? Yeah, uh, my last round was against Yellow Sin. Uh, that's the round I lost, unfortunately, and I both me out of top sixteen, sad face. Yeah. Uh, uh, so he just he just had too many he had too many cards. I couldn't do anything about his hand size. He always had ten plus cards. Mm -hmm. I tried I tried to be aggressive, couldn't do it. Uh, and then turn six, he tapped six, played out more cards to attack me with. Yeah, I just died from there. Well, I mean, you still you still able to get top thirty two. I think the event had, I think it was one hundred twenty eight people. Um, if I if I'm not mistaken, it was around that. Um. I think it was 128 people um but yeah i mean regardless being able to top an event is still you know you, you gotta you know you gotta tip your hat off to you like that's that's good like being able to do that is is a, is a really fun thing so you know don't uh don't be too hard on yourself you know there's always the next one you can do and uh maybe you'll be playing helku maybe you won't be you know you know <laughs> <laughs> um any changes you would have made to the deck i know obviously being the unit war you're black there's only so much you can do but was there anything that you would have changed possibly um anything i would change honestly if i could i probably would have cut these guys down maybe down to two three mm -hmm. and found room for probably another um release from evil okay or another pan right okay because with yeah because pan giving crit to my leader it, it's just so good it matters <laughs> definitely matters it, it really does <laughs> it really does all right well uh any any final shout outs anything you want to you want to say to the people oh heck yeah man shout out to rogues in my favorite my favorite spot to go to uh shout out to my boy kyle chris shout out to my boy paul shout out to my boy chris uh keith <laughs> Uh, shout out I'll about yeah. to Chris again. Don't, yeah, don't mind me. I'm yeah. I, I'm smart. I went to college. Yeah. <laughs> shout, shout out to my boys uh Madden and Joey. 
Love you guys. Love all you guys. I guess. You know. All right. I'm going to keep vibing. Yeah, I'm going to keep vibing. Just out here vibing. All right, man. Well, hey, uh, uh, thank you for your, uh, and let me do the deck profile f with you. Um, and uh, if you guys, like I said, uh, uh, maybe we'll have, um, we've had some help with, you know, gameplay on the channel before. I'm sure we'll be more at some point. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next Dragon Ball video.